What is biosynthesis? Biosynthesis is a modern approach to psychotherapy based on pre- and perinatal psychology, somatic psychotherapy and transpersonal psychology. Biosynthesis offers multidimensional understanding of the human being, the body, emotions, sexuality, beliefs, desires, needs, dreams, history, family legacies, relationships, patterns of thought and behaviour, all of which are revisited in the therapeutic encounter and considered as a totality or gestalt. What does biosynthesis mean? The word biosynthesis means integration of life and refers to specific processes of self-formation which guide organic growth and personal and spiritual development. What are the fundamentals of biosynthesis? Biosynthesis emerges from the Reiking tradition, from which comes the understanding of the functional unity of the body and mind, jointly working together to protect life. This is the founding principle of the therapeutic work in biosynthesis, in which the body is invited to become fully alive. From Reich also comes the appreciation of human contact in the clinical relationship as the fundamental basis of therapeutic transformation. How does biosynthesis work? Biosynthesis is a process and a body-oriented therapy that accepts the unique way of the individual and the spectrum of various paths of evolution that recognises the multidimensionality of the human being. Biosynthesis is based on organic growth, working with movements as undulating forms of breath to release blocked intentionalities and stimulate new embodiments of the psyche, which has been coined in biosynthesis, postures of the soul. In biosynthesis, when we work with the body, we use as a basis the principles of functional embryology, integrating and coordinating models of breathing, muscle tone, emotional expression and cognitive functions. The objective of our work is to forge a link between the three essential aspects of human existence. One, our somatic existence. Two, our psychological experience. Three, our fundamental essence. What does biosynthesis address? From these basic concepts of prenatal development, biosynthesis emerges as a fundamental method of somatic psychology, which addresses and cultivates the specific and individual configurations of the body-mind relationship. The importance of this mind-body interface has received a major spotlight in the latest research in neuropsychology and neuroscience. The intricate dance between mind and body surfaces as a biological truth embraced now by science, finding its rightful place within the healing approach of biosynthesis. Why is biosynthesis important? It helps release emotional blockages and stimulates new ways of thinking and expressing, promoting physical and psychological well-being. Biosynthesis emphasizes the resources present in the client, as well as the function of somatic resonance, organic presence and therapeutic encounter. The term biospirituality, coined in biosynthesis, emphasizes the principle of compassion towards oneself and others from a clear contact based on the essential qualities of everyday existence. Practical Applications of Biosynthesis As a form of self-development and self-regulation based on the formative process which can be used with the general population with regard to the prevention of neurosis, schools, parents' groups, women's groups, groups of pregnant women, groups of elderly people, mother-child relationships in the first moments of life, institutional work, training and companies, etc. As a form of psychotherapy, it has been used with neurotic, psychosomatic and borderline patients. 
It works both individually and in groups according to the internal needs of the client. In biosynthesis, we teach nine themes. Number one, founding and grounding. The emphasis is on the root of the spine as the basis of autonomy and on the difference between overgrounded and undergrounded character tendencies. Number two, the emphasis is on the lower belly and on pre and perinatal aspects of experience, womb life, birthing and ways to help clients with birth or prenatal trauma. Number three, holding and charging. The emphasis is on the first year of life, the throat, oral character tendencies, healthy needs and patterns of addiction. Number four, bounding. The emphasis is on the energies of the solar plexus and the sympathetic emotions of anger and anxiety in relation to the movement patterns of constructive aggression and constructive self-defense or safety seeking. Number five, bonding. The emphasis is on the heart as the center of a love relationship and on patterns of cooperation and partnership, as opposed to symbiotic collusion or destructive collision. Number six, sounding. The emphasis is on the voice, the throat and the ear. We teach patterns of clear communication in language and disruptions of this. Number seven, facing. The emphasis is on outlook and insight, eye contact and vision. Number eight, crowning. The emphasis is on the crown of the head as gate between personal existence and the transpersonal. Number nine, forming and shaping. We also look at the application fields of biosynthesis in private practice in clinics or in other areas such as work with children or social applications. Who created biosynthesis? It was developed by David Bodella, a reference author in the field of body psychotherapy, who expanded its reach internationally, impacting psychotherapy in over 20 countries. Together with Silvia Bodella, they founded and directed the International Institute for Biosynthesis and the International Foundation for Biosynthesis. He was the founder and president of the European Association for Body Psychotherapy for many years and is the founder and editor of the journal Energy and Character. David Bodella is the author of many books and articles on body psychotherapy. What recognition does biosynthesis have? Biosynthesis is recognised internationally by the European Association for Psychotherapy as a scientific modality of psychotherapy and has also been recognised by the European Association for Body Psychotherapy and globally by the World Council for Psychotherapy. The schools are integrated within the International Foundation for Biosynthesis the Overseas Association for Biosynthesis and the European Association for Biosynthesis. Biosynthesis addresses the fundamental needs of every individual with respect to physical well-being, psychological experience and essential development. 